Hey guys, Chip here. I've got a brand new material I want to share with you. First off, it comes in this EV Plus Cycles material system. I've had this for a couple years now. I keep upgrading it. It's got all kinds of different materials. They can do different things. There's hundreds of materials in this, and they're all custom crafted. Some of them are photo textures. Some of them are procedurally generated. Others are for very specific kinds of things, like making clown maps and things like that. When you purchase these on Superhive or Gumroad, you get a link to a G drive that I have, and you can download them as a complete zip file. If you select the main folder, G drive will zip it up and download it for you. You can also sync to that G drive, and that's really the advantage of using that G drive. Let me explain why I use G drive. First off, it's very difficult to upload lots of files to Superhive. A lot of times it can time out. They're not really set up for managing more than a gigabyte of files at a time. So G Drive works really good. And most everybody has a G Drive account. And even if you don't have one, you can create a fake one and get access to these files quickly. The other big reason is that I'm always updating and changing these files. And I have a system on my computer that uploads all my changes automatically to G Drive. So you're getting all of the files that I'm using day in and day out as well. And what's cool about that is you can use utilities like Rclone or even Google has its own desktop Google Drive, which can actually sync to that G Drive in the cloud and put files locally on your system. If you have those installed, they will automatically sync up to the Evo Cycles material system in my G Drive. So that works out great for everyone. You can also go onto G Drive and sort by modified date to find out what files have been recently changed or uploaded. So that might be a value as well. Let me talk about this brand new material that I've created. Let's jump into Blender. First, let's just go in here and grab this. I'm going to add an insert here and I can do hit F to center. Let's make it there. You can see now we have this insert. I'm going to Use Control Shift Z product kit ops to turn that into a bounding box so we can see what we have here. Then we're going to go to this new material and it's called CW Cam Foam, like camera foam, right? So let's click on here and add the material. We'll go into our full rendering and you can see how nice this material is. And, and let me just show you some of the settings for these for this material. First, you can brighten it up a little bit by just dragging it up a little bit so you get a little. If you want to make it a little brighter, you can do that. You can adjust the scale of the foam so. That's a higher and more dense scale at 220 or maybe let's see, 100 is a, is a little coarsely. So let's just leave it at 200. By the way, these numbers here in parentheses are the defaults for this two meter size. Let's see, this is yeah, it's 2.6 meter size cube. So you can't get the idea of what scale we're at. You can adjust the bump here at 0.5 is a good number for the bump. And then the scattering is, is also good. So I turn off scattering, you know, you get something that looks a little more like EVA foam, but if you look at this, you'll see that we have a, a default of 0.15. And so that'll give you a little bit of that subsurface scattering look that makes foam look, you know, accurate. You can jack it all the way up, but 0.15 seems to be a, a good number for that. So I think this is a pretty nice new material for foam. And if you already own EV Plus Cycles, you can grab it there. And if not, you can also grab it on my Patreon. So couple bucks to join my Patreon and I put stuff up there all the time. Thanks for watching and we'll see you online.